Assalamu alaikum. This is none other than your Arabic teacher Sam, the friendliest and best Arabic teacher. How's it going? Hope you guys are well. In this video, we're just going to run over a little something and we're going to put the darn harakat in there. You know, that's often a struggle for beginner students. It's one of the most common things that I see in Facebook groups, to be honest, that how on earth do you read Arabic without harakat? So don't you worry. We're going to stick the harakat in this. Okay, as we get into it. So, well, my brother-in-law sent me this actually the other day and he was like, oh, can you work it out? And uh, as I was reading it, I thought it'd just be a nice thing for me to show you guys. Good little thing where we could just stick in the harakat in there. We can work out the bits of grammar. We'll learn a little bit about verbs and um, a little bit about how you know the subject and stuff as well. So, um, so let's get into it, inshallah. So, what do we have here? We have... لِمَنْ يَظُنُّ أَنَّ اللُّغَةَ الْعَرَبِيَّةَ السَّهْلَةَ So, to who... We'll, we'll, we'll put the harakat in. So, it's... It's le men. Yavunu enna. Sorry if it's a little bit blurry. Enna lugha tel arabiyata sehla. So whoever, whoever thinks that the Arabic language sehla tun, it would be by the way. But when you when you're reading, if it's the end of the sentence, you don't need to pronounce the case endings on the end of the sentence. Um, I sometimes do in my lessons just for my students, just so. Um, just so they know what the case ending is, but um, it's actually not correct, and that's why in the Quran as well you you, you don't as well. But um, li men, what we really have here is li, and then we have the word men. Okay, so we have sort of for who, for who yavunu, um, you know the the verb vanna, or vanna yavunu. Um, really, it means to, to think something, but, but then to end up being wrong, like to assume something or to suppose something. It, it kind of means like that. So he who thinks, so to who thinks, to who thinks, yadunnu. So whoever thinks that, whoever thinks en, so en means that. And um, for those of you on the 60 Steps program, <coughs> you should always end up to the 60 Steps program. <coughs> That's my program and I'm really proud of it. <coughs> it's probably right for all of you. Sign up now. Um... Yeah, so anyway, anyway, okay, so we have a lesson in the Arabic in 60 Steps program, book two. Uh, I think it's lesson 17, maybe, um, where we do um, Inna wa akhawatuha, so Inna and her sisters. And this is one of Inna's sisters. And it means that. And uh, what it does is that the ism of Inna, this is the ism, the name of Inna, the, the, the subject or the thing that you're talking about of Inna, takes fathas. Yeah, that's the, that's the thing, that ism Inna is monsoob. Um, yeah, so that's why this is monsoob. But the khabar, the thing that you're learning about it, is marfur, as it would normally be, okay? So, so that's because this is the ism of anna, which is why it has fathas on it. So that, the Arabic language, al al arabiya sahlatun. So the word sahla means easy. The opposite of which would be sa'ba. Sa'batun. Okay? Yeah, so to, yeah. For who, for who thinks that the Arabic language is easy? Okay, so we're going to have a little phrase here that's in brackets. And then afterwards, um, there's a question. Okay, so let's, let's have a little look at it, inshallah. So, daraba. Okay, this is the verb daraba, even though all of the harakat aren't in there. Daraba. But you only really need the one on the end. Um, yeah, you need the fatha on the end so that we know that it's a verb. Um, if it were just the verb darab, then it could just be the noun for like a hit or a strike. Okay, so daraba, the verb to hit, or he hit. Daraba al-abbu. Okay, there would be a shadda in there. Daraba al-abbu. So the father hit. Ibnahu. Okay, ibnahu. Daraba al-abbu. And then we've got ibnahu, so his father, his, his son. Sorry, so, so the father hit his son. Li'annahu. Li'annahu. Because he kana mahmuran. Mahmuran. Okay, that's another um, mafrool one, by the way. Mafrool pattern. Passive participle pattern. It's from a lot of you guys have known the term khamr. Khamrun. Which means like, it means wine, really, but it's often used just for the term alcohol, generally. Alcohol. Um, khamr. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's often. It's often. Really, really, his best translation is just wine, generally. Like, in, you know, in the time of the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and, and other kind of Arabic literature, usually when you hear about alcohol, it's probably wine, like beer and whiskey and other kinds of drinks, whatever there is now. Um, you know, like they, 
there, there are different words for that, right? Like as as the, as like whiskey doesn't come from the Arab world, they just use the term whiskey. Um, they just copy it. But um, yeah, so yeah, so it's wine, but alcohol generally. So if you are mahmoor, you have been alcoholed. Okay, you're drunk basically. Um, it's not it's not like the most common um, term for being drunk. I've heard other terms before, um, like sukran, for example. Sukran to be drunk is more common, I think. But um, mahmoor is sort of literally means he's been wined. Yeah, he's he's drunk. Okay, so the question is. So what we have here is what we have is this. Okay, so the father hit his son because he was drunk. Okay, and the question is, men, men a levy, man, men a levy. So probably not for that type of kasara. Men a levy, men a levy. Can a machmoran? So who is the one who is machmoran? Okay, um, and, and as well, it's machmoran because of kana. Okay, kana behaves the opposite way of of inna and and her sisters. You know, for example, let, let, let me show you what I mean by that. So we have kana and we have inna here. So with kana, the rule is that the is that the uh, the ism is um, is morfor and the khabar is monsub. But with inna and her sisters, it's the opposite. Okay, so the ism is monsub, but the khabar is um, morfor. So an example, if we were to say something like um, the father was drunk. Yeah, كان الأب كان الأب مخمورا مخمورا كان الأب مخمورا. But if it was like indeed the father is drunk, it'd be إن الأب إن الأب مخمور مخمور. Sorry, my, my pen's gonna be funny over there, but it says Mahmoron anyway. So you kind of the cases kind of swap around that. Yeah, but but anyways. Anyways, so um yeah, so that, that that's the question, right? So um yeah, the father hit his son because he was drunk. So who's the one who's drunk? Yeah. Um and the answer is we don't know. Like even in English you don't know, do you? Like with, with the sentence, um, yeah, the father the father hit his son because he was drunk. We don't know if the father's hitting the son because the son's drunk. Or the father's hitting the son because the father's drunk. Um, yeah, we don't know. We don't know. So it's it's not really even a riddle. There's not really a, something to work out. Do you know what I mean? It's it's just that from the Arabic language, like in like in English, we we don't always know. Um, my brother-in-law, he seemed to think that it's the father who's what the one who's mahmur. Okay. Um, uh, but I asked another friend of mine who said that because of uh, who said that he think that that he would he would have thought in the meaning that it's the son who's drunk. Um, they both had their own reasons, but um, but the reality of it really is that on the face of the language we actually don't know. So that's everything from this video. Um, on Saturdays, as usual, you know, as I said, we're, we're uh, just a little surprise for you guys. If I come across something in the week or there's something in particular that you would like me to cover, then I just go over it. Lastly, I'll just apologise for for being away over the past few days. I was in London. Um, I had a meeting with some guys from Arabic Workshop, and um, I was also a guest on Living the Life on Islam channel as well. I'll try to put my interview out on this uh, this channel since you guys can watch my interview because it's quite a nice little interview. Alhamdulillah. Um, soon inshallah, I'm gonna start. Um, I'm gonna start um, presenting on Islam channel soon inshallah. Um, yeah, so you might see my face on there if you're a regular if you're a regular viewer on Islam channel. You'll regularly see my face soon inshallah. So um, that's everything for this video. If you have any questions at all. Um, about anything or if you're looking to start a free course if you would like a little if, you, if you're thinking about doing my program the 60 steps program um, then have a little do a little sample first um, I'll, I'll link up in the description a link to my free course I have like a mini course called six steps um, yeah and you can see if it's for you inshallah because although I joke about everyone having to do my course and you should all be doing my course um, really like I only really want people who it will really help like there are some people who want certain things and um, I'm just real with people like if my course isn't right for you, I'll say, look, sorry, it's not right for you. Um, yeah, so if you want a little free course, a free six-step course, you can go ahead and get access to it um, in the description below. And uh, yeah, we'll, 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 we'll leave it there for the day. If you have any questions at all or anything you'd like to get in touch with me about, then please just stick it in the comments. You can also email me, arabicwithsam at gmail.com. If you enjoyed this video, then uh, don't forget to like and share it just to let me know that you did. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well if this is your first time here. See you guys in the next one. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.